And now for our next, once again, our science material is copyright March 2000, March 17, 2000 by me, Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons illustrated in any of the science comic books except that of myself that may seem similar to anybody in real life or fiction are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic. And some of the uh, image, some of the characters in this book have been have been uh, originally made by Megan Schroeder. Okay. All right. So anyway, here is the cover. Yay. It's a little, it's Patty, Patty Chan. We miss you, I miss you, Patty. You're, good, you're such a good dog. I love you. You good girl. Okay. Okay, episode 12.5, because this story goes between episodes 12 and 13. One lucky dog. Allow me to introduce my sweet dog, Patty. She was born on March 17, 1988, St. Patrick's Day. As she's part beagle, part spitz. We open on the night of June 26, 2006, where she's looking towards the moon from the safety of her pen. Thank you for his views and madness, and let him know that I love him. Well, I ran a rick rack before I write me from her. This happens, and this all this happens in pay in pay's dog pen by my dog by my house. The next morning. Okay, hey Scamper, hey Lucy, hey Kitty, I gotta go get, I gotta go feed Patty now. Patty, hey girl, click 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 click. Where are you, girl? Oh, there you are, Patty. Come on, girl, it's time for food. Come on, girl. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Ah, hey, you can talk. Not only that, but you look so different too. Hmm, what are you? Huh? Wow, I can speak your language. Right for me. <laughs> Let's see if I can stand up. Hmm. There, yeah, I'm standing okay. Feeling a little dizzy. But I'm standing like you. My wish came true. Yay! Oh, Master, I cannot begin to tell you how elated I feel. Kind of think of it, I feel so young, as if I was three years old. Twenty-one in dog years. Hmm. Well, while I'm still in shock over your transformation, I'm happy that you feel happy. Come, on, let's get you. Let's get some food in you. We'll give you a bath, and a makeover will be good too. Thank you. <laughs> you know how dogs like to chomp on the water when you spray them with the hose or the or the yeah the sprinkler. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Just kind of. I'm just trying to get some in them too. <laughs> so then, after cleaning and eating, uh, we both sit on the bench in front of the house. Oh, Chris, I am so grateful for your care over the years of my life. And I love you so much, yet I'm tired of being confined to my pen. And with my new form, I can now roam free. I wouldn't want to put worse wear on my paws. Hmm. Well, I understand how you feel. Yep. I took my glasses away. Anyway, yeah, I can help you. I know of a great place where you can run free and have great friends to be with. Not have to worry about scaring the natives either. <laughs> Come on, girl. Where are we going? To get there, we have to take the shortcut in my bedroom. Oh, okay. Hmm. After you. Thank you. Well, chivalry ain't dead. <laughs> so we enter my bedroom into that in the house. I open the door. Okay, watch your step. Wow, this is your room nowadays? Huh, it's a bit crowded. I can see one reason why you need a woman's touch in here. Hm. Yeah, I'm, uh, among other reasons. <laughs> okay, well, I take my e-reader and this car special card, and I say, Open Sesame! And my little shortcut portal opens. <laughs> Come on, now, this way to Quickville. <laughs> We're both on the way to Quickville. Yeah, from my house to the to Quickville. Otherwise, it'd be a longer walk. 
We took the shortcut because it would be a longer walk. And then the upper story of the quick film mall from the front of the building is the wardrobe where the portal ends. And here we are. Welcome to the city of Quickville, Virginia. Oh. We're in Quickville, aren't we? Hmm. Patty, you and I are in the heart and epicenter of Quickville, my mayoral office. It's located above the shopping center's north entrance. Not only is it a home away from home, but every city document, every public decision, every single fun event that goes on in this community are all planned and stored here in these four walls. Wow. How do you handle all these responsibilities while you're not here? That's a good question, Patty. I have a secretary who takes in the incoming documents. After looking them over, she calls me on my cell phone, gives me all the details, and then she scans and transmits the data of the document to a special PC program to the Clickville satellite, which sends it to my Nintendo DS. Then I can read the document, including the fine print, and sign my approval on the touch screen. The signature gets printed onto the original document, and it's done deal. But of course, it would be nice if uh, Nintendo actually did make a PDA program with personal notepad functions to take notes and memos with. Also, so I can actually uh, access the internet as such worldwide through Wi Fi. Wait, they did the Wi Fi part. Alright, still need a PDA. <laughs> so, anyway, so after I showed the office, uh, we step out of the uh, office r building to the uh, doors to sit meet my secretary. <laughs> yeah, we were just continuing on with the tour. So, with that scepter and those bracelets I made for you, you'll be able to defend yourself for the villains with some of the some of my powers I have bestowed unto them. Oh, thank you. Oh, now, before I forget, uh, Miss Amber? Yes, Mr. Chandler. Hmm. By chance, this is my secretary, Miss Allison Amber. Former movie star, she returned, she retired early to pursue a dream of being the aid of, the, of a baked cheese like me. Allison is my sweet lucky dog, Patty. She's gone under a a grand transformation, and she wishes for more free roaming space, so I brought her here. I'm delighted to meet you, Miss Amber, and I'm happy to make your acquaintance as well, Patty. I've heard nice things about you from Chris. And also, big note, when she was hired as secretary, she automatically got the position of vice mayor. So during my absence, she becomes the mayor. And up to, that, up to this point, she has been doing a good job being the mayor while I have been trapped in the other dimension. Billy Mays, nor what's, nor what's his name, nor anybody else, is the mayor. Do not believe it. At this point, out Al, at this point, Allison Amber is the mayor. Except no false rumors. But continuing on with this current event. Excuse me, my phone's ringing. Deep. Uh, hello. Oh, Sasha, what's up? Hmm. Okay, I'll be right down. Beep. Oh, I gotta go. Sanchi and Rose, you need me. Hey, I'll come visit you time and again, but consider Quickville your new roaming grounds, and this office your new home. Uh, do you have those items, Miss Amber? Oh, yeah. Yeah, here you go. Okay, thank you. Hey, take this cell phone with unlimited minutes, use it to call Allison or me when you are hurt, and show this card to the cashier of any supermarket or grocery store or restaurant. They'll give you the they will give you the food you need and treat you with high respect. Take care, Patty Chan. I was I'll, I'll always love you, my sweet puppy friend. And I love you, Chris. <coughs> and that was a sweet episode dedicated to my real life dog, Patty. She uh, was born on Mar March seventeenth, nineteen ninety eight. Died on June twenty seventh, two thousand six. She was one sweet, pretty, and lucky dog. My favorite photograph. Took a her and me together. Okay, stay tuned for the next episode.